what is up guys thanks for joining me today in my video i'm going to be recording a video of installing the wireless charging pad and wireless harness into my 2021 civic type r i got this car about maybe a week ago absolutely love it i'm going to be recording more videos later on about the driving experience and all that with my car but for now we're going to be doing those installs i bought the oem pad make it look really flush and really original so yeah to be installing Here are the part numbers, if you're interested. Right there. And right here. The harness. The mounting pad. And the wireless charging pad. For the Honda Civic Type R. So, before anything guys, make sure you guys open up the hood disconnect the negative battery terminal because you're going to be messing with a harness that's going to be going inside this car but just for a quick explanation of what you're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the center piece right here to be able to get to the pad area and then once we do that we're going to run that harness through bring it under here over and then on this side is where the connector is going to go once we remove this you're going to be able to see it better to connect that wireless charging pad in doesn't sound too bad i'm gonna get through it let you guys know how difficult it actually is and if you guys like it hopefully it's a mod that you can do to your car or that you just enjoy watching videos like this all right guys start with today's install i'm gonna be taping up the parts of the screen due to i don't want it to get damaged at all I got some masking tape here. Just gonna cut up, put right here on the corners, right where you're gonna pry to avoid getting any damage on your actual screen for your car or anything like that. Right there. Good there. This charging pad that we're going to be installing. We're going to be going in right here. Oh, you charging pad. But first, let's get this police radar and everything out of the way. You're going to tape up the buttons. One of the tools I recommend getting for this job is this pry bar set. The pry bar set I got it off of Amazon, pretty cheap. So I already took this thing off. That was gonna be a lot harder than it was. Just pull this straight down. Should pop out. 
Now I'll try to figure out how to remove the shift knob. Okay guys, so instead of just spinning the shift knob, you gotta put a 14 mil wrench in here. See where it catches right here. Then shift knob will come right off the car. After the shift knob's out, you spin the little sleeve and the sleeve's gonna come right off. Make sure you don't lose this. It's very important for your car. <laughs> put it somewhere safe. Got this toolbox, this set right here. All these little bits. I use this for work, but you can put them here. Check out if they work. Bit drives to use one. The way this works is you get the bit, the adapter on it, have a little wrench adapter for it. Pretty cool little tool, nifty little tool you can use. has three sensors in the back. Make sure you do not break these. One, two, and three. Put this somewhere safe, because this is very important. So once you got all that off, Next step is to get, get this little pad out. Just grab your handy dandy pry tool again. And then just carefully start snapping it up. That is the OEM plate. So this right here is what's going to be running through your dash to connect into the wireless charging part. This right here is your ground wire. It's going to be connected so once we get this ran through and we're going to have to find a ground to mount this to. So I found if you look through here you can see actually a little opening. I know it's hard to see on camera but little opening that runs to this floor panel right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to route it out under around the shifter to connect to that wireless charging pad. Took me a minute. Ended up pinching myself too, but I was able to start the routing of the cable if you see it right there. The dash stuck it out through here. So yeah, now you just got to route it, run that wire down and across to connect to the grounds and be able to connect this to the wireless charging pad. Once you have the pad connected, so you run this in, the little connector right here on the side, and then connect this right there, just like that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lay this down. If you haven't routed it already, a little bit extra room right here. Don't worry, I'm gonna secure that down once too after I Verify where I'm going to have it. And this is going to go down right here off the side. Just like that. Boom. There's a little indention here. I'm guessing it's for that too, the wireless charging pad. But hey, I'm not a, I'm not a professional. There we go, that's sitting. So now what you do have this routed in and then slap it on real quick there you go have that bolted in 
in this bag of goodies that come with it, you will see has zip ties and what I'm specifically looking for right now, two extra bolts. These are going to be for mounting it right here. Oh, God damn it. So if you're dumb like me and you forgot to put these bolts on beforehand, you have to wiggle your way around it. So learn from my mistakes. Put the casing over after you tie down these two nuts. I didn't think it made a difference, but apparently the clearance issues is recommended. So if you look down there, I don't know if it's kind of hard to see, to make sure it doesn't impact anything with the, with the shifting linkages, touch a zip tie down there to strap it in with the harness that's down there. That way you make sure it stays out of the way. It doesn't contact anything. Safety first. Reconnect these sensors, these plugs. Boom and boom. Make sure you don't pinch any wires on your way down. And then snap this back into place. Grab your two bolts and grab your little wrench. Tap these bolts back where they're supposed to go. grab those nuts that you made sure not to lose and you're gonna thread that back in the, it, the how this works if it's loose it's all right it's to make sure that the shift knob goes in straight so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get it around where you want but you got it in a good area which I kind of like it all the way down Right there, nice and straight. You put your wrench on it. Right there. You're gonna tighten it. There we go. And then this, pull right back up. You're gonna mount these back up. Make sure you remember what side you took them off of. And then they should just clip back into place. Just like that. Oh, nice and pretty. Oh, oops. So once you got all your panels back together like that, all nice and pretty. Try not to scratch anything. Kind of banged it up a little bit here, but we're not perfect. Gonna finish routing that harness to the side and then locating your ground. But before that, I gotta take off this panel right here. So it should just come off with a couple of clips just like that. Just don't yank it off because you gotta disconnect these two sensors, your traction control and your collision sensor right here. Remember, this is for the 2021 model. The 20 19s do not have this it has a collision it just has a traction control which you still have to disconnect there you go so i routed that harness down and over but 
I was trying to, I'm trying to connect that ground. Trying to figure out what's the easiest way to do it. Well, there's this ground back there. It's very hard to see back in this corner right here. I'm trying to access. So I thought maybe the easiest way to do it, loosen up these two bolts, 10 millimeter bolts right here. Just gonna drop this fuse box right here. So that's one. That's two. See if we can get this lowered a little bit. So just connect this wire right here. It gives you more leverage. There you go. Low enough so you can access this ground that's behind here. I'll keep y'all updated right now when I get it installed. Okay guys, so I finally got it routed, zip tied. This is the main connector for the power right here. So once you connect that, you got your fuse here. Press to the top, make sure you put your, your fuse, your fuse amperage sticker on it. There is this connector back here, that one. You connect that together. I was trying to figure out where that connected to. And then you zip tie the whole harness aside. I have it routed off through the side. Ran it through the top right here, through the side. And then that's when it goes up into the charging pack. I, should be, I have everything connected. I'm gonna go ahead and start reinstalling the panels. Okay, so this last panel. Make sure you connect these two sensors right here. And be careful with this side one. Got it in already, but it was very tedious to try not to break. So after that goes on, make sure you get all these clips here, here lined up. Snap them back into place. Your dash should be reassembled by then. There you go. So all you gotta do now is reconnect the battery cable, the negative battery terminal, verify everything's working right, and I'll let y'all know. So now that we got that pad installed to the car, got that harness ran and everything, it's time to test out the wireless charging pad. So we're going to turn on the key. Just ignition power. It works with just ignition power. You see how that green light came on? It's getting power now. So what we're going to do, put our phone right there. Yes, sir. You guys see that right there? It's charging. Light goes orange. Working perfectly fine. See, it's not too bad of an install. Hope it, if it's something you guys like, um, I'll drop the links of the wireless wireless harness and the pad where I find them out at. Um, to be honest, it's not super convenient for me because I'm connected to my CarPlay most of the time, but for like my passengers or something, or for if you're one of the people that carries an extra phone, you can go ahead and have that connected or charging. Really, really nice, I love it. It looks really cool and the it looks really cool and really OEM. If you guys like the video, please drop a like, drop a subscribe. Um, trying to raise my 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 subscribers up to be able to do more mods like this, be able to feel my my passion of upgrading my of upgrading cars. I have a lot more planned for this car in the future, so hoping I get a chance to share that with you guys, take a video of it. I got that PRL high volume intake coming next that I'm going to be doing a video about. So stay tuned for that. And thanks guys. Appreciate it a lot.